Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and I want to tell you about an update to the Going Gear Monthly EDC Club, and I'll also show you what came in this month's shipment. So the update is currently the, the cost for the Monthly EDC Club is $59.99. They're going to give you another option to bump up to $199.99, and that additional cost is going to go to a premium item. And so they sent me this box to show you that the premium boxes looks like in the future are going to be coming in boxes like this. But again, you're gonna get basically what you get at the, the normal going gear level for the EDC club for 60 bucks. And then the additional cost is gonna to go toward a premium item. So if you're super into EDC, that may be something you wanna do, go from the, uh, the basic level to the upgraded premium level. So with that, with that said, let's take a look at see what's in the box and uh, we'll show you. Now, this is not a premium box yet. This is just a box for showing, but we'll show you what comes in the, uh, the regular shipment envelope package right there. All right, as always, they're gonna throw in a Going Gear sticker like that. Our first item is some QSP knives. See if you can see that, yeah, there you go, on there. And uh, this is called the Parrot, which is ironic because right now Olight is running a, uh, a sale and they are also, uh, they just put out a knife called the Parrot as well. So let's take a look at this guy. D2 steel, slick looking EDC knife. Looks like my Carta for your handles. There's your pocket clip can go on either side, which is nice. Liner lock. There's your thumb studs, a little jimping there. Nice smooth opening. So 3.25 inches for your blade and 3.2 ounces for the uh, the weight of the knife. So super lightweight. That thing is really, I really like the texture of that thing. Got copper washers inside there. It's a very simple, slick looking EDC knife. The value for this one is coming in at 29 bucks. So that's your first item from this year's, or uh, this month's Going Gear EDC Club. Next up, valued at $29.95, we have the Backpacker Fisher Space Pen. So I love Fisher Space Pens. Um, I've got a couple different um, options. I've got actually one that I run from Trayvax that they uh, they work with Fisher Space Pens to, uh, to put these together. Here's what it looks like. Like a army green there, I would say. You got the, uh, the ring. So I thought it twisted off, but it doesn't. You just pull off like so. And there's your pen. I always have a, uh, a pen on my keychain as well. I've got a little Night Eyes pen, a little bit shorter than this, but that's a slick little pen. I love a Fisher Space Pen. They last long, they write well, um, and they're like compact like this. So um, yeah, and now you can throw it on a throw it on a bag, throw it on a keychain, whatever you want. So value for that, $29.95. Last up value at $29.90 is from EGTAC or Eagle Tech, and this is called the Teeny DX3E. It's a keychain pocket light, 1,000 lumens. So let's take this guy out of the uh, package. I've seen Eagle Tech promoted from a uh, going gear before. So um, I think I may have had one of them in the past. I don't even know if I've owned one, but that's what it looks like. Definitely got some heft to it. As soon as you, you pick it up, you can feel it's got some weight. Looks like we have a USB-C, yeah, USB-C charging port there. I will tell you that I pulled the, uh, the, basically the rubber stopper completely out of there. So be careful. It doesn't like, you know, kind of hang on a little, little nub. Sometimes you pull them out and then they just kind of hang on the edge. That can come completely out. So it has a built-in battery. It says it's a 3.7 uh, volt, 400 milliamp hour LiPo battery, USB-C rechargeable. You can see there's your interface right there. You do have to hold it down for four seconds to, uh, to turn it on. So when I first pressed the button, it was kind of like pulsing in and out. So hold it for four, four seconds and then it'll go on. And then I'll show you the different outputs here if we see if we can get it up to the highest. So there it looks like that's gonna be your thousand. It does on the camera, it looks a little bit like incandescent, but it's definitely yeah, it's hard to see on camera, but this is definitely, it's an LED. All right, so it's a little bit confusing as far as the interface. So looks like it says here, if you press once, so like kind of squeeze it, it'll come on at your low level. Click it, it'll go off. If you click it, it comes on at your medium level, which you can kind of see a difference there. And then double click, it's gonna go to high, and then double click it again, and it's gonna go to the max level. Um, so your outputs, let's see, it doesn't actually say here what all the different outputs are. And then it does have a, uh, it'll basically blink to show you how much battery it has left in this little, the little output there or a little light there. And that is blue, just so you know. So, I mean, it's a cool little light. Obviously, when you put it on that highest output, that's a lot of output for a, for a tiny little keychain light. Um, valued at about 30 bucks. So I'm not super familiar with Eag Tech or Eagle Tech. So I'll be interested to test this out. Um, but for some people, they're like, I need a tiny light for a keychain light, which is definitely is my preference. This is maybe a little bit bigger than I'd normally carry for a keychain light, 
but you could just throw this like on a uh, in your pocket, and now you got a thousand lumen output for like, for your for your EDC, which is more or close to I think probably more than on average, right? Your batons, your little um, S1R baton two or three from Olight. If if it's not greater, it's right around there. But yeah, it's a cool little light, the EGTAC from uh, from Going Gear in this month's EDC monthly EDC club. All right, guys, you can see kind of an orange light on my face. The sun is setting like right over there, so it's glowing over toward my face. But anyhow, um, as always, I'd like to hear your thoughts on what do you think about these items? What do you like? What would you change? What have you used before? Especially that's helpful for people to hear. But let's get your feedback on uh, this month's Going Gear EDC Club. Let's get that discussion started in the comment section. Thanks, as always, for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.